The Volkswagen Up is the smallest Volkswagen in the market and it's the perfect city car. Now Volkswagen offers the actual Up as an e-car. What the e-Up delivers, how it drives, how much it costs and what real range it offers. Let's find out now. The Volkswagen e-Up is as its combustion brother uh, with 1,65 meter and with a small car. When you look at the front of the car, it it's not instantly recognizable that it is an electric vehicle, but there are two minor differences. One is this blue line here at the side of the Volkswagen logo, but I think the other one, more important, is the daytime running light signature here, which is typical for e-Volkswagen cars. And this is here, it comes in LED technology. It's a bit of a pity that the e-up, as the standard up as well, only features halloy headlamps, no LED. And this is the same with the bulb for the indicator. But as said, when you look at the front of the car, it really is not at all looking as an electric vehicle. Uh, for the first glimpse. The UP features the most important driver assist and safety systems as standard. So for instance, it has a lane assist, lane departure assist on board, and you can buy more and more like a Parktronic, you can have a, a speed control and all the stuff. Um, and you can have, if you want, a rear view camera. But I have to be really honest, the rear view camera picture is here on this small screen, and this is not perfect because it's really small, so I need my glasses to have a proper picture there. The closest competitors of the e-up are for sure its Volkswagen brothers, like the City Go from Skoda the Electric or the Seat Mi Electric. But if you look a bit more into the market, the next thing I see is the Smart 4.4 Electric. That car is compared to the nearly 22,000 euros um, of the e-up, about 600 euros more expensive for the entrance model. But on the other hand, it delivers about 100 kilometers less range. And the reason for that is that the battery of the Smart only features 17.6 kilowatt hours. Of course, the e-up offers different recuperation modes, five. So, which means if you drive in standard D, um, you have a standard yeah, drive behavior like a normal, normal car, but you have another four, and you can choose them while using the gear knob, pushing them to the right or to the left. And if you want the strongest level instantly, you can just pull it towards you, which gives you a so-called B mode. And this is the maximum recuperation mode, which means if you lift your foot off the pedal, the car really it decelerates a lot and if you push down it accelerates the way you want. It's a bit like, yeah, driving a model car or something like it. And um, this is the so-called one pedal drive. And the good thing is if you drive this perfectly, you do not really need your brakes. But on the other hand, braking with an e-up most of the time means recuperation. So getting energy back into your battery. The Volkswagen e-up is 3 meters 60 in length, so the same as the standard up, and it features a wheelbase of 2 meters 42. Important here is the battery is mounted down here between the axles, and it's now more compressed than with the predecessor, so it doesn't need more volume, and this is good because you do not have any negative indicates at the interior of the car. Important is, at the side, you will not recognize the e-up as an electric car, but you do have this sticker here, so you instantly know that. And I think important is, as the standard standard car comes with 14 inch steel wheels, nothing so nice, but you can have the version style which we are driving which then comes as standard with 15 inch alloys. But if you want you can have 16 inch as well, but that will cost you in Germany 340 euros. With a 61 kilowatt engine on board, the small up is yeah, quite quick. Um, that is enough to accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in only 11.9 seconds, but it feels a lot quicker. Top speed is 130 kilometers per hour. Regarding to the um, storage compartments, the uh, UP is not a perfect car because you only have a bit of space in the doors and you have a small cup holder here in the center console and an extra small um, department, but that's it. And another thing which is quite important is the front windows. They are electric, but at the rear you can just open it like this. Looking at the rear of the car, the first thing that really catches your eyes is this big black panel here. And the reason for that is we drive the Edition Style, which features dark um, windows at the rear side and at the rear. And that really gives you this special look, which I really like. When you look at the top, you find this antenna here, which is a bit old fashioned, but it's an up. And from the rear, it's the same as from the front and the side. You will not recognize the up as an E car, but of course, you do have this blue line here and the big E up signature that gives you the idea that is an electric vehicle. Um, while standing here, let's have a look into the boot. The e up features a boot size of 251 liters with the rear seats up. If you fold them down, that increases to 959 liters. And what I really like is as standard, you have this 
special one here, which gives you the opportunity to give you a different size or different layer of the boot. Um, this is quite nice because this now is nearly flat here. And if you look down there, we have the cable for charging the car. And so it's nothing that you may see when you just open the boot to have a short look into it. The interior of the UP is like the interior of a modern electric car should be. It's all very fresh and nice. And what I really like is this one here, the mount for your mobile, because with that you can use your mobile as your screen to work with the infotainment. Really a nice thing. On top of that, you got really nice, comfortable seats, a very nice steering wheel. That's a place you feel absolutely comfortable in. Talking about an electric car, you have to talk about battery, about charging and, of course, recycling. And this is the reason why I now talk to the head of the department of the Volkswagen UP. The new battery in our upgraded UP offers 32 kilowatt hours. Charging at a DC quick charger means recharging 80% in one hour. At a 7.2 kilowatt wall box, this takes about 5.5 hours. If you use your 230 volt household standard socket, you will easily recharge overnight what you use during the day. Our idea at Volkswagen is to reuse the battery after its life inside of the car as a household power supply. And if it needs to be recycled after this, we do already have a model plant that recycles up to 97% of the materials inside of the battery. Another thing is the second use in charging points. We will use the batteries there as a buffer, because the batteries do not need to be charged or discharged as quick as in a car. And so the idea is, for instance, to store the energy out of your home photovoltaic system in these batteries. That was interesting, but you have to know, if you want to use the quick charger, you have to have the special socket on board, and that costs you an extra of 625 euros in Germany. The E-Up offers three different drive modes, which is standard, Echo and Echo Plus, which means I can drive as I want, I can drive more eco-friendly or extremely eco-friendly if I want to. The E-Up offers more than enough space for the driver and co-driver, even if you're a tall person like I am nearly two meters. Behind me, of course, yeah, there's not enough space and this is the reason why I will not try to jump on the rear seat. So for me, this is a three-seater, but on the other hand, I'm the driver and for me, it's really comfortable. With 3,50 meter in length, the Smart 4.4 is about 10 centimeters shorter than the E-Up. And if you look into the boot size, you will instantly recognize it there as well, because with the rear seats up, that car then only features 185 liters of maximum capacity. But if you fold down the seat, then it features about 20 liters more than the E-Up in the same configuration. The suspension of the E-Up really is very nice. It's stiff enough and still comfortable and that combined with the steering makes the car perfect to drive inside the city because it's quite quick it's agile it really is great fun to accelerate with this electric engine so this really is a place you can absolutely enjoy while driving through a city and just use your small car the e is powered by a 61 kilowatt hour who are interested in it 83 horsepower electric engine and that one is combined with a one-speed automatic gearbox. And this engine delivers a maximum torque of 212 newton meters, but from ref zero onwards. And um, the battery of the car features a capacity of 32.3 kilowatt hours, and this is enough for a maximum range of 260 kilometers. But Volkswagen says, and I think they're honest, you should expect a range between 180 up to 260 kilometers, depend on your driving style. And uh, this is then the maximum range. The E-Up should take 12.9 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometer driven. That's a figure we didn't reach, but we used a bit more than 13, which I think is quite a nice number. And that is a promise that I can, if I drive carefully, easily reach the official range of 260 kilometers. But if you drive a bit more sporty, or maybe if it's getting colder or something like it, you will always reach more than 200, which I think is a very nice number. 
That was my test drive in the new Volkswagen E-Up. And direct to the start, I have to say, I absolutely like the car. And I think it fits perfectly into a city and into a city as Valencia in that color, for sure. Um, of course, it's a small car. So when I sit at the front seats, yes, this car becomes a three-seater, but it's really something you can drive. And depending on your drive style, you can really reach more than 200 kilometers of range, which I really like. The only, let's say, disappointment for me is I would expect LED headlamps and taillights for an electric car, but that's the only thing. The rest is great fun.